Welcome to Wednesday's edition of Renew. I'm Pastor Tony Cowan. Thanks for joining us and let's get right to the point today. We are talking about the reality that God is gracious, that He desires to deal with us according to His grace. In fact, that's the only way you're going to be able to deal with Him and relate to Him, and that is through the avenue of His grace, His graciousness towards us. Now, we've been talking about a number of things up to this point, and I just want to reiterate a couple of things real quick that grace is not just for the initial salvation experience. Indeed, it is. It took a lot of grace for God to send His only Son down here and provide salvation for us. But grace is not just for the initial salvation experience, nor is it just something we have to wait for in the sweet by and by when we all get to heaven. Indeed, we will enjoy His grace there. We'll be seeing an amazing grace 10,000 years into eternity and, and beyond. But I want you to know that grace is also for, available for you right now. Whatever your need is right now, there is a grace at the throne of grace that you can come find and receive and obtain right now. Now, Paul one time was dealing with a lot of issues. He dealt with probably more problems and troubles in his life than we'll ever even think about. But he said, you know, he was beseeching the Lord and about that one day. And, and the Lord said to him, my grace is sufficient for you. But that didn't mean, well, Paul, you're just going to have to wait to the sweet by and by. Or, Paul, you used up all my grace when you got born again, when you got saved. No, there was grace available. He didn't say, my grace is not sufficient for you. He says, my grace is sufficient for you. In other words, there's more grace available for us right now, today, for whatever need that you might have today, than any need that you'll ever have. It is for any and every time of need. But it has to be received by faith. Now, this is what Abraham found out. We're going to go back over to Romans chapter 4 again. And we were talking yesterday about what, what did Abraham find out that we need to know? Well, he found out that he could deal with God by believing God, and God would account that to him for righteousness. In other words, right standing, a favorable position. He didn't have to earn the blessing of God. He didn't have to earn his answer prayer or his, or, or his supply in a time of need. That he could approach God and receive by faith the grace that God was so willingly wanting to give to him. Again, God's grace means his willingness to give his ability, resources, finances, provision, strength, whatever you have need of, even though you didn't deserve or earn it. See, there's no one uh, in the Bible who ever received anything from God that actually deserved or earned it. They actually just received it by faith. You know, it was the people who were trying to earn it, trying to earn a paycheck from God. Those are the ones that God ends up resisting. God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. The humble are those who just run the white flag up and say, you know, I can't do this. I can't earn it. I can't deserve it, but I'm just going to receive it anyway. I'm going to receive it by faith. Those are the kind of people that are rewarded in the Bible because they approach God in humility and receive from him by faith the grace that he has already provided for us in Christ Jesus. Now, I wanted just to read two verses, the four and five again. We don't have time to read the whole thing. It says, now to him who works, the wages are not counted as grace, but as debt. But to him who does not work, but believes on him who justifies the ungodly, his faith is accounted for righteousness. So in other words, if you're going to try to relate to God as an employee, trying to earn a paycheck from God, you're not going to get anything. But if you'll just come to him, believing him, trusting him in faith, in his grace, then you're going to receive an inheritance. You're going to receive everything that you have need of. And this is the way God wants us to relate to him. Now, all of us, again, we have this legalistic works mentality that we think we have to perform and God's going to reward us based on our performance and our production. That is not true. That is deception. Now, listen, we're not talking about your nine to five job. OK, we're talking about earning, trying to work your uh, work acceptance with God, favor with God, the blessing of God in our life. You cannot do that. You, it, you just never will be able to get there. Uh, again, we say how much is enough? At what point do we say, well, I've done enough good works, I've, I've earned enough, I've put in enough hours, I'm going to receive a paycheck from God. You'll never get there. You'll never enter into that rest. And if you're on that religious works mentality, legalistic treadmill, you're not going to go anywhere with God. In fact, those are the ones that Jesus actually rebuked, had trouble with in his ministry. The ones who came to him on the basis of mercy and grace, 
I'm telling you, they got what they came for. Now, there's a verse of Scripture, and I'm going to read this in the Message paraphrase again. Message Bible is found in Matthew 11, 28 through 30. Jesus is talking here. He said, Are you tired, worn out, burned out on religion? Come to me, get away with me, and you'll recover your life. I'll show you how to take a real rest. Walk with me and work with me. Watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. I won't say anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Keep company with me and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. See, that's the way God wants us to live. He wants us to live freely and lightly by receiving His grace, by entering into His, His rest, the rest that He has for us, receiving His peace, and know and have confidence and trust Him that we have a need, we can go to Him, we can receive the answer for that, the grace for that, that's more than enough to meet any and every need that we'll have in life. That's good news right there. And I believe we're getting this, aren't we? Well, that's all the time I've got for today. Join us again tomorrow. If you like additional resources and materials, go to TonyCowan.org. See you tomorrow.